Good morning, we're back from the Van Life Festival, which was last week, so it's the weekend after now, we've had a bit of a break from the van, been busy working, uh, but now we have to take everything to bits again so we can put it all back in properly this time. <laughs> so, we're taking the bed out, I'm going to take that to bits again, and then, uh, then I'll put it back together again when we're ready for it, and that will be three times I've done that. When we were putting all the uh, Sylvia insulate and stuff up, we forgot that there was above the cab. Now, as you can see, <laughs> there's not a lot of room in there. So I can only think that if I spray inside there, leave this in, that'll stop the, the glue going all over the place and uh, any residue will fall down on top of that. Then glue that and then just try my best to stuff it in. Right, here we go. So trying on a dodgy angle. Do you want to stand on the step and then you've got more? Well, I can't see where I'm squaring. All right, you're too high. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> Getting some up in here. It's getting some in, but... I feel like Spider-Man. <laughs> Dead. Right, oh. that's the next one. Next! This one might work a bit better. Check this out. Ooh! They're not naming me plants. It's the only plants I've got. I normally have gloves on, but I've forgotten them. Yeah. You marry gold. Never the marigold. Oh, it's going to stick on itself, isn't it? Fuck it! Let it do what I'll do. It's sticking on its own. And it's about 45 degrees. Here in Hartley Farm, here. Yeah. Where's that roller? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Something along them lines. <laughs> That'll do for now. <laughs> Did anybody else get a plastic good luck baby at the Van Life Festival this year? Well, it's the next day now, and uh, I've had a lovely haircut. The lovely Brenda has given me a lovely haircut, and I feel a lot more human now. <laughs> what we're going to do today? Well, Overnight, well, within the last hour or so, we've had uh, discussions about what we're going to do with this, and it's changed from being oiled to varnished because we do like the grain. I think the grain's lovely. I know it's only plywood, but it looks lovely, and I think it would come up good. But then we decided that if we wanted to paint it, then you can't really paint over the varnish or the oil. Uh, so I think we're just going to paint it in the end. So that's gone from being white to like a, a lighter colour, like a minty green, but even lighter than that. So it will blend in with the kitchen unit and the uh, top units when we get them built. Uh, so I don't know, we'll probably change another 10 times before we decide. So I'm just gonna, today I'm gonna like carpet some of these bits here. Probably don't essentially need it. This bit here, I'm gonna get some on this, trying to cover some of the metal parts down here. Doesn't look easy, but yeah, it won't get done on its own, will it? So let's crack on. So I've got my bit of cardboard cut out. Cardboard. <laughs> I've got my bit of carpet cut out, and uh, somehow we're going to have to glue the glue on here without it going all over the place in the cab. So we've got the cab covered up. So now it's trying to like. I think we're going to get some cardboard just to cover this bit, and we're going to chuck the carpet underneath. So we're just trying to get some glue in without it going all over the bleeding glass. You'll have to do that. 
Right, I think I need you to, if you just don't want to stick it on yet, and I'll just I'll try and get this underneath. Stick it going to from this way. Sharp Stanley knife. Careful of the cotton. That's a nice neat job there, I think. Lovely and neat. Don't know what we're gonna do with this wire though. If other people have hid wires somehow, please let me know. So now we're gonna come down this part here. Hopefully. Right, we're coming to carpet this bit here, which is gonna be a bit of a, a fanny on, shall we say. Because it's gonna to have to be wide there, because it goes in there. And I don't want this to all stick round onto there. Then we're going to have to come down here and stick it on here. Take this off and go in behind it. But the trouble is, you see this stuff we've put on. I don't think the carpet's going to stick to that. So I'm going to cut an edge off about a centimetre off all the way down. So there's some bare metal for the carpet to actually stick to. I think that's the way forward. I would prefer to have this off and just go behind it, this trim here, but for the life of me, I don't know how to do that. I can't see anything holding it on anywhere. Unless I look it up on the interweb. <laughs> and there's the next bit in. Neat-ish and tidy. It's not perfect, but it's a horrible material to work with. <laughs> I'd have preferred it to be a bit neater under there, but... I can probably pull that off and glue it up a bit better, but not looking bad. Now this more complicated side with wires and bars and such. Mm. So we've gone all the way around with the carpet, all tucked in behind the plastic bit. There's a join here, but we won't concentrate on this join. But it all looks... Uh, Nice and neat tucked in there. I'm uh, reasonably happy with it. I'm never happy because I'm a perfectionist. But, you know, what can you do? Scratch. <laughs> right, we're just going to pop these back in. Make it a bit neater. Or do I have to put holes in? Oh, there you go. Gives it a bit better finish, doesn't it? Did I mention in a previous life I used to be a blacksmith? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was a lie. <laughs> it's the only bit we uh, we don't like is this bit here. So I don't know whether I can fashion some kind of uh, product to go around there. And also the um, cable here, but I've had a bit of an idea. You know, we've got the conduit which I'm going to cut a length out about that long. I'm going to slice it down the middle and I'm going to carpet it. And then I'm just going to pop that on there. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Should we do that now? Yeah, why not? Or should we go at the pub? <laughs> <laughs> You're never getting out done. That's the idea. I don't know whether it's a perfect solution or not. But uh, if I just carpet this now, we've cut down the middle. And, uh, I think that'll be all right. It'd be better than that, won't it? Right. All right, we've got our lovely uh, carpet sausage. Let's see if we can get there in there and hide this bit behind there.
What do you think? So what do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> does it look made? Or does it look all right? I think it looks better than it did. <laughs> but people will be wondering, what the hell is it? I think it needs a bit more carpet on. Yeah, it does. We've got some more. <laughs> Another trip to screw fix. I should buy shares in this company. Good morning. It's another day. It's another afternoon, actually, and it's another beautiful day. I don't know whether you can see. You can't see. Uh, when we got the van, it originally came, it was all boarded out with this stuff. So we're reusing it, as you know. I'm just thinking what to do with the back doors now. These are what came off it, so they just screw into there. So I'm thinking screw them back on and then cover the hole of the door in the carpet what do you think yeah okay then i'll do that oh that didn't fit weird well it hasn't been fitted very well uh so i don't know what it'll be like when the carpet comes over it might look a bit of a mess, that might not. I don't know. Do you like my motorhead t-shirt, by the way? Got this at the Van Life Festival. It was only one pound, so I thought, I'll get two of them. I can work in that. It's a bit of a naff design. Looks like uh, Brenda's washed it in the bleach, but all right for work, isn't it? I have seen motorhead, by the way. One of the only bands I've walked out on. Not because of the music, it was just too loud and you know what to say if it's too loud you're too old i'm not surprised it doesn't fit because it doesn't fit in here damn all right that's another one on <laughs> i don't know it's going to finish with the car but we'll, we'll see and hopefully this handle goes in as well is it going that way i'll make it fit I'm now in two minds whether I actually have to put this on there because if I'm just going to carpet it anyway then you know that will carpet over there I think once I put one in there Brenda's decided we're going to have it white just saying goodbye to our lovely caravan bye bye So we've painted the panels and we're now just putting them back into position. Well, that one needs uh, another coat on it. But we're using these little white clips, which don't cost a lot of money. Not clips, screw caps. And they just pop over the top. Can you see? Sometimes I need a little persuasion with a little hammer. There we go. Pretty neat, I think. That one hasn't got it. Sometimes they're just rubbish and you have to put a new one in. So you can hear it when it clicks in. There you go. Just another five more panels to do. <laughs> right, that's all the panels painted and on. Brenda's been doing most of the painting. I've been trying to get them back on in position where they were supposed to go though they weren't really keen on going back into position they've had to drill holes out again and uh put the caps on and broke about 20 caps as well so yeah it's done right uh that'll do for now we'll either catch you tomorrow or it could be the end of the video and if it is give us a thumbs up and uh, i've got michael jackson gloves on again Shamu. <laughs> bye bye now